All right, so for America, what do we have that's new? Well, never mind, never mind that. That's That doesn't count, even though it's got a yellow ribbon on it. That doesn't count for the not 1.99 anyways. Okay. Should just be the HSTVL, I would think, yeah. All right, HSTVL, high survivability test vehicle. Lightweight, a light tank at 9.3 at the moment. We'll take a look at that when we, uh, after we're done just looking at everything. We'll take a peek at the mods real quick. Well, they changed it to XM855. I think that's what it was supposed to be. I suppose there's that. All right, that seems to be it for America. Yeah. Any new American helicopters? The answer is new. New American airplanes. We know there's something new there, so that's cool. Anything low tier? Doesn't look like it. Looks like just the F3H2. That'll be fun to check out, especially with the uh, ground loadouts. It's quite a lot of ground loadouts, so that'll be interesting. Look at that. Goodness gracious. We'll come back to that. And fleet. There should be at least a Cleveland here, which I think is it. So we'll take a look at the Cleveland real quick because I'm not going to take it out and sail it or anything. So there's your look at the Cleveland. Unsinkability. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, moving on to Germany. For Germany, in the army section... We've got the M48 Super, M48 with 105 mil L7 cannon. What's the ammo look like? DM23 is up to DM33s. Whoa, an M48 firing DM33 at 9.3. Oh, that's something interesting I was not expecting for 1.99. I'll tell you that. Wow. I think that was it. I didn't see anything else for Germany. Okay, helicopters for Germany. Nothing new. Air for Germany. I believe I saw an F-86K. See if there's anything else. Nothing else jumping out at me. G91R4? Ah. Germany gets a G91 R4, as well as an F-86K. Well, that's interesting. 8.7 for the G91 R4, 9.3 for the F-86K. Ho, oh, ho. Oh. Germany's fleet uh, may have been passed over for this update, it looks like. Yep, all right, nothing for Germany's fleet. Okay, moving on to our tech tree. Doesn't look like anything lower tiers, so probably just the game-breaking disaster that this thing is shaping up to be. <laughs> wow. ATGM HE. That's funny. <laughs> so we got a tandem charge, and then one of the upgrades is an HE. Is this a... Does this have, like, anti-air effect on it or anything, I wonder? I don't know. We'll come back to that later. Okay, Soviet helicopters. Uh, no updates for this patch. Okie dokie. Aviation. Um, Soviet aviation has got... The SU-7B, let's see what kind of ground loadout it's got real quick. Not a whole lot, as I somewhat expected, because after all, it didn't really have a whole lot in real life. But not too bad. Better than better than some of the other ground attack options that the Soviets have currently, so. Alright, Soviet fleet. I saw something in the uh, beginning there. There we go. Project 56 destroyer. 
1956. Makes sense. Okay. For Great Britain. Back to tanks. Uh, we've got the Stuart 1 at 1 1.3. We've got the Stuart 3 at 2.0. So those are interesting. A little bit of low tier love. And the Challenger 2 2F is an entirely new tank rather than just an update or modification for the Challenger 2, so... That's good news for the British to be able to have a pair of Challenger 2s at their top tier lineup instead of the Challenger 2 and then some decent Challenger 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3 backups and falling down to the Vickers 7 and the Chieftain Mark 10. It's nice to have two really viable 10.3 main battle tanks for the British, so that's pretty exciting. And that seems to be it. I don't see any premiums for the British. See if they got any new helicopters. They did not. Not surprising. Do the British get any new aircraft in this patch? Um, seems like... the Yes, right, the Scimitar, of course. The Scimitar naval aircraft. What do we got? Any ground strike? Uh, yeah. Four AGM-12B bullpups. That's not bad. 12 rockets with two 1,000-pound bombs. 24 rockets, four 1,000-pound bombs. Bullpups and sidewinders, or sidewinders and 1,000-pounders. That's not a bad little bit of uh, ground strike load out there. Not bad. A little bit of cast potential for the... Uh, British, because the, um, the, uh, FGR-2 is somewhat lacking compared to the American F-4s, anyways. Alright, was that it for the British? I think it was. Right, there's all the new rockets. I'm not sure all the aircraft that are going to have them, though. Oh, you're right, the Wyvern does. Um, we'll take a look at the Wyvern's modifications real quick, because that should have all the new rockets. Three's okay, and the Red Angels. The Red Angels should be interesting. You get two of them. Let's see what that looks like, actually. Should, oh, never mind. I don't have it in a lineup because my lineup's got reset because it's the uh, dev server. Let's take a peek at that real quick and see what those things look like. Oh, okay. They're not as big and exciting as I thought they would be, but they'll be interesting to uh, test test fly. We'll check those out. On to the British fleet. British fleet updates. We've got the HMS York, heavy cruiser, rank five or uh, yeah, rank five, battle rating five point three. All right, and I think that was everything. Moving on to Japan. For the ground forces, I believe we've got a very, very needed update here, and yes, we do. The Type 87 is no longer the top tier self-propelled anti-aircraft for Japan. Thank goodness. We've got a stretched Mitsubishi truck with an eight-round SAM launcher. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, thank goodness. And the SAM that you get is the best one you're going to have. Uh, 5.5 kilometers in rear aspect, 3 kilometers for a forward shot. So, not a long range missile, but uh, better range and better ability than the Type 87. And it gets artillery, so hooray. So that's nice. 390,000 RP. Ugh. I'm glad I got talismans on a couple of my high tier Japanese tanks. Yeah, I think that was it. That's it for Japan. Japanese helicopters. Oh, good gracious, Japan has a helicopter tree. Instead of just a premium, they get an AH-1S early, a regular old AH-1S to go along with the Kisarazu, and the AH-64 DJP, which is the Japanese um, uh, Apache. Could not think of the name for a second, for the life of me. So that's cool. We'll have to check out the loadouts on all those babies later. For Japanese aviation, we've got the B6N Model 2. Looks like a bunch of little bombs to start with, and you can get a couple different torpedo and 800 kilogram bomb options for it later. So that's nice for 2.0 naval Japanese aircraft aficionados. And that looks like 
that was probably it for Japan, I think. I don't see anything else here. I think that was it. A new Japanese torpedo and level flight bomber. Interesting. For the Japanese fleet, we look like we've got the Tone. So there you go. There's a look at the Tone and the turrets that it carries. All right. There's also China. Who cares? Italy. All right. I'll look at China. China's got um, this 3.7 SPAA from the 1980s. That's down in rank two with uh, 25 millimeter AP rounds. That's going to be insanity. China also has the new. T-69 2G with whatever this thing is. That's interesting, I will say. I will say that that is interesting right there. Alright, um, don't care about China. So, Italy. We got an M3A3, so Stuart... We've got the M4 Hybrid. I would like to see what exactly M4 Hybrid means. So we'll have to actually test drive that, I guess. There's a regular M4A4. There's a Sherman VC. There's the M18. There's an M24. All kinds of new tanks for Italy. That's exciting. I can play my Italian tanks in 1.99. Italian helicopters. We're still just on the uh, Mangusta. Italian Aviation, we have got the F-104S. That's exciting. I'm glad there's the F-104 coming to the game, even if it's going to be very difficult for everyone who thinks they're going to turn fight with it, because you sure as hell ain't going to turn fight with an F-104. Of all the aircraft in the world that were meant to do certain things, the F-104 was not meant for turn fighting. Seven 750-pounders. That's a pretty sweet cast loadout, though, if you can ever get yourself lined up to drop. A single 2,000. Eight Zunis? <laughs> six AIM-9Bs. That's cool. So now you can miss six targets with AIM-9Bs. Some interesting loadouts there. And the Italian fleet now exists at all, so everything here is new. So we'll hold here for a second just to look at them all, and then I'll uh, come back to this in more detail later. Okay, moving on to France. French ground forces, we have got the D2, which is an early pre-World War II tank, I think. Pretty sure it is. They also get a regular old M4A4, previous to the M4A4 SA-50, so that's interesting. Presumably that'll have the 75, yeah, 75 M3. And that appears... Wait, no, 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 that shouldn't be it for France. There we go. I knew there was one more. So we've got the AMX-13, which should be an AMX-13 with the M24's turret on it. We'll take that for a test ride here shortly as well. And for helicopters, nothing new for France. Not particularly surprising for French Air. We should have, I believe, we got something new. I should have just skipped over and said, no, there's nothing new here, and just watched how many French aviation fanboys just angrily started sending stern letters to Francois Mitterrand. Let's see what we got here. R550 Magics. Too bad they're not Magic 2s, but Magic's pretty damn good. That's going to be an interesting missile to use. The 530E and the 550. Those are going to be fun. Nord AS 30s, Matras. Matra, oh my god. Bombs. This has got all kinds of. All kinds of interesting loadouts here. That'll be something. The Magics are going to be fun. The Magics are going to be a lot of fun. 
400 kilogram bomb times two. That's an interesting loadout. All right. That'll be neat to have alongside with the uh, F100 and the A10R and some interesting uh, top tier cast options going on for France now. And then a couple of three bombers if you want. Plus an F86, which is getting pretty low in the battle rating, but still viable for some tank battles. All right. Speed in. Floor gang, Let's see what we got new for Sweden. We have got the STRF 9056, and that is going to be something altogether. Something else altogether, I should say. So, 40 mil gun with the same shots as the uh, STRF 90, and then an ATGM, which has got some pretty interesting uh, penetration characteristics to it. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun one to test drive. As you can see, I haven't even gotten into top tier for Sweden yet in the actual real uh, server. So, Swedish Air. Did we get anything new for Swedish Air? I don't believe we did. And I don't believe that we did. Okay. There are all of the entire new things for everybody.